Good morning, everybody. This is Brother John, Five Minutes to Freedom. We're going to be part 11, chapter 4. And um, we're going to start off in verse 20. I was just doing this for my pick. I'm trying to look a little crazy, get somebody's attention. Um, please subscribe. We're trying to get this word out to help this next generation. He says in verse 20, My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them. If you want to have freedom in this life, you got to understand God's word. You've got to understand his sayings. Not just the Ten Commandments. I mean, that's a good that's a good base. But when you get into Proverbs, it tells you like which kind of women not to be with, which ones to look out for. Uh, which friends not to be with or so-called friends because they'll get you in trouble. It's just so much more detailed information on how to be free in this life and how to have a great life. He said, for they are, verse 22, for they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all diligence for out of it spring the issues of life. So not out of the blood pumping heart, but out of your soul, out of your innermost part of who you are, what, what you are. And all these things spring out. <clears throat> so if we're going to have that free life, abundant life, we got to learn how to adapt God's instruction to our life. And I'll show you here in just a minute one example. He says, put away from you a deceitful mouth. That's one. Put perverse lips far from you. And uh, James talks about the tongue. And um, this is one of the very first things as a new believer myself that God dealt with me on. He's like, hey, you can't keep talking like that. And you got to understand, I was in the Marine Corps in the infantry. And every other word was, you know, some kind of profanity. And so when I got saved right out of the Marine Corps, about a year after, this is one of the things that God dealt with me. He said, you know, you can't continue talking like that because it's deceitful, it's perverse, and so forth. So that God helped me with that. The next thing he says, let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. It was like, what does that got to do with anything? Well, uh, especially for guys, you know, you see a hot girl or a beautiful woman come by the first thing i mean it's just in us in our dna to look at that because they're attractive right well the thing is when you uh do this right here let your eyes look straight ahead and your eye look, eyelids look right for you it's like you train yourself not to stare at that because what what happens when we stare at a beautiful woman well we lust and then that grows into something else, desire. And then that grows into wanting to be with that woman, whether they're married or not, right? So it could cause us all kinds of trouble. But if we learn to do this, it helps us and it's health to our flesh. And that's just unheard of today, right? That's just unheard of. But here's the thing. When we train ourselves to do this, God blesses us. And... He says, let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or the left. Remove your foot from evil. So when you recognize any type of evil, we, we train ourselves ahead of time. In other words, you got to make your mind up when you're in prayer or at your house or whatever. It's like, hey, I, I can't do this thing or I, I've got to do this. And so you're training yourself to not stare at them, you know. And you say, well, what, what's that got to do with anything? Well, um, the thing is, you know, when we when we get involved in that sort of thing, you know, we start desiring for that, it can lead into all kinds of trouble. Um, there was one example I wanted to share with you. I just kind of left me there. Um, what was it? can't think of it really right off the top of my head I had it on the tip of my tongue I was gonna give you to share an example with you on that but we're we're pretty much done for the day but verse 27 let's leave it off with that 
Do not turn to the right or the left. Remove your foot from evil. So if we have any anything in our lives that, that seems like evil, like an opportunity to steal and nobody will find out about it or somebody makes a mistake on the, on the bill, you know, we, we've got to turn from that and do what's right. And God will bless. Well, that's it for today. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.